Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Life with Nicole Marie and Gary. Today, you guys, I'm going to share with you how we make acorn squash. This acorn squash was a little over $2. It was $1.28 a pound. Um, so anyways, I'm going to be using Better Than Bouillon. I'm going to make it real, real easy for you. Later on, there will be pepper and butter and things like that. I'm just going to show you as I, as I go, we're going to get it started. We're going to need a uh, baking a baking vessel a baking pan if you will um <laughs> y'all let's just get started okay you guys i'm going to put a smidgen a smidgen of better than bouillon in the glass and we're going to go ahead and dissolve this because this is also going to add a lot of flavor. This stuff, you guys, if you don't use it, you should. It's great. If, this stuff here is freaking awesome. Um, we use it with everything. So, yeah, better than bouillon. Great for, I have also the beef and the chicken one as well. This guy's, anyways, I'm going to dissolve this. And you know what? It takes us about a year to go through so like I know it's a little spendy but it's well worth it because you're not using it I mean you're using it sparingly if you don't have sodium issues maybe you want to go by their content in it all right so so the bouillon is uh is dissolved there so what I do is once I cut the acorn lengthwise, we're gonna get into that in a minute. Um, I will set them with the with the uh, flush down, not the rind. But let's get on to the next step. Okay, you guys. So we love acorn squash. You could also use this recipe for the Thanksgiving, for the Christmas holidays. You want to get yourself a good sharp knife. Last thing you want to do is use a dull knife. You want to cut that tip off like that. And cut this little guy off. There's a little tip on this side. So we'll cut her off like that. And so it's stable. <laughs> I'm going to work it down. And now we're going to, I got a bowl here. And we're going to scrape all of this out and discard it. You can, however, clean these up and roast them. You can use them and, and try to uh, maybe plant some fresh if you like. Got that one done. There's many different ways, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it today because tonight we're having steak, you guys, and mushrooms and onion, and we're having quite the dinner. So anyways, let's get out of the next step. Okay, so now what I do is I come in and I, I score the inside. I don't go all the way through. And what's going to happen is the, uh, the squash will pick up the flavor of that better than bouillon. And then when it's done cooking, we'll add the, the butter. That's when you can add maybe brown sugar. You can serve it in this, uh, serve the squash just like this. I am not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and scoop it out. And yeah, these sides will get a little brown and they're going to be delicious as well. So we're scoring. <laughs> and we're scoring. Like so. 
All right, y'all, there is plenty of flavoring with this vegetable better, better than bouillon and stuff. But like I said, that's when, when it's done, we'll add. Um, ooh, slippery little sucker. Any hootie. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get these in the oven. I have a preheated oven, 350 degree. We're going to put it in there for approximately 45 minutes. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to put tin foil over this. And there's so many, there's so many different ways to make this, you guys. There really is. My mama used to do it many different ways. This is just a simple way I'm doing it tonight. All right. In the oven, 40 to 45 minutes. All right, guys, it's been 45 minutes, and so <laughs> I've already started the basting it in the inside. It is uh, soft, but it's not soft enough to my liking. But anyways, I'm going to leave it uncovered. I'm going to pop it back in the oven for about 15 minutes. I got some baked potatoes in there going to anyway. And yeah, so I baste it with that broth with that juice and that's gonna add a lot of flavor it's gonna get right in there all right back in the oven for about another 15 minutes all right y'all she's all nice and tender so now i'm just gonna go in here add some butter and that's going to get all melty, good, and yummy. Do it to this next one. Get it up in there. Y'all, I guarantee you, it's flavorful, flavor, flavor, oops, and more flavor. And like I say, I make this for, uh, for the holidays as well. All right, we're gonna go in with the pepper. You can add any seasonings y'all like. Make it your own. This is really delicious though. Uh, my mom sometime she would also put like uh, mozzarella and then bacon bits on top. That's really good to do. Give her a little sprinkling of parsley here. Spread that, spread that parsley out. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all this is delicious. Now, if you my baked potatoes are like quite huge. I know you guys don't want to really hear about this, but just hold on. Uh, are quite huge. And so anyways, um, they have a ways to go. I'm going to go ahead and put the tin foil over this. And then I'm going to set it um, in a warm place to keep it nice and warm and hot. But at this point here, you can cut it in half um, and serve each one. Uh, the rind at this point is eligible or eligible. It's ed edible if you uh, want to eat it. But anyways, this is it, y'all. Uh, play with the recipe. It's really good. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, y'all. Until next video, take care, stay blessed, stay safe. And uh, yeah, y'all, give it a try. Let me know um, in the comment section, do you like acorn squash? If so, what do you like to pair it with? All right. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Bye.